Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about the grade 7, week number 4, learning task number 1. Ito yung learning task number 1 under ng week number 4, addition and subtraction of polynomials. So actually guys, ito ay hindi naman under na addition and subtraction of polynomials. As you can see, this one is under evaluating algebraic expression. We're in, we're given this kind of task. Sabi dito, for the direction, find the value of the expression given the value of the variables. So you're given five different expressions. One, two, three, four, five. At yung bawat variables expression na yan ay may mga equivalent value. So again, without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here in item number one, we have 10x minus 5. Ang tanong dito, how do we evaluate expressions? So as you can see, in the given expression, 10x minus 5, and then you have here, x is equal to 3. All you need to do here is to substitute the value of x in the given expression. So paano ginagawa siya? So you have 10x minus 5. Substitute natin yung 3 natin. And then there you have it. You have 10 times 3. So kung mapansin nyo, yung value ng x, x is equal to 3. By reflexive property, we can directly substitute 3 to x. So you have 10 times 3 minus 5. And simplifying this expression, this will give you 10 times 3, 30, minus 5. That is equivalent to 25. This is the answer for item number 1. Now, kung isipin nyo, sir, bakit hindi parehas yung ginagawa niya sa mismo ano, sa mismong task na meron kami sa module? Ito lang naman ay kapaano, parallel questions na kung saan magiging guide nyo on how to answer learning task number 1. So let's move on with item number 2. For item number 2, we have 6xy plus x minus 5. We're in, we have two variables, x and y. The value of x is negative 2. The value of y is 5. Now, substituting the value of x as negative 2, this will be your uh, expression. You have 6 times negative 2 times your y, which is 5, times 5, plus your x, which is negative 2. You have negative 2 minus 5. And simplifying this expression, follow nyo lang yung, ano, yung rule natin sa PEMDAS o kaya GEMDAS. 6 times negative 2, it will give you negative 12. Times 5, that is negative 60. Again, 6 times negative 2, that is negative, negative 12. Times 5, negative 60. And then positive times negative, this will be negative 2 minus 5. And simplifying this expression, negative 60 minus 2 minus 5, this will give you negative 67. This is the simplified form of item number 2. Okay? So, I hope na sa first two examples pa lang natin, nakakuha nyo na yung mismong concepto on how to evaluate expressions. Now, let's move on with item number 3. So, as you can see, we have your fractional expression. You have 4AB minus C over ABC. Ngayon, sir, ang hirap po niya kasi fraction. Don't worry kasi... X pin natin ng maayos yan. Your A is equal to 6. Your B is equal to 2. Your C is equal to 8. Substitute natin. You have 4 times your A, which is 6. Times your B, negative, sorry, 2. Minus your C, which is 8. All over 6 times 2 times 8. Medyo malaki to. Kasi puro multiplication tayo. So simplifying this numerator, you have 4 times 6, this will give you 40, ah sorry, 6 times 4, 24, times 2, that is 48, minus 8. Tama? Again, 4 times 6, 24, times 2, 48, minus 8, over your denominator, medyo malaki. 6 times 8, this is 48, 48 times 2, that is 96. Now, simplifying your numerator, you have 48 minus 8. This is 40 over 96. Ang tanong, what is the greatest common factor of 40 over 96? Ang tatandaan nyo, uh, kapag nag-express kayo ng, or kapag magbibigay kayo ng answer in fractional form, lagi nyo siyang i-check whether your answer is already in simplest form. But right now, we have 40 over 96. Wala pa siya sa simplest form natin. So, 
Ano ba ang greatest common factor? I think four ang kanilang greatest common factor. Four ba? Four. Ah, no. Their greatest common factor is eight. So, kung meron tayong eight, so this is five. Meron kasing, uh, meron kasing limang eight sa forty. So, this is five. And for ninety-six, meron tayong twelve eights. So, the correct answer for item number three is simply five over twelve. So, kung mapansin nyo, diba, ah, uh, Sa so, unang tingin, may hirap yung ating expressions, pero as long as ginagamit nyo yung tamang rule o yung PEMDAS rule in simplifying this expression, madali lang siya. So, let's have number 4. For number 4, we're given the expression 4 times the quantity of xy plus 8. And then the value of x is negative 4 and your y is negative 2. So, meron tayong negative numbers, meaning you need to apply your knowledge on how to multiply Integers. So you have 4, and then, gawin natin yung bracket. Tapos yung x natin, which is negative 4, gawin natin yung parenthesis negative 4, times your y, which is negative 2, plus 8. Tapos, simplify lang natin yung ating parenthesis. You have negative 4, times negative 2, that is negative 8. Tama? So you have 4, times negative 8 plus 8 and say in grouping symbol you have negative 8 plus 8 this will give you 0 so that is 4 times 0 and any number multiplied by 0 the answer or the product is equal to 0 this is the correct answer for item number 4 so for the last number you have another fractional expression you have 3x plus 4 over 4x minus y so, kung mapansin nyo, negative na naman yung numbers natin, pero okay lang yan. You have 3 times negative 5 plus 4. Pansin nyo na buti. Sinabstrict natin yung value ng x natin, which is negative 5, directly sa ating expression, over 4 times negative 5 ulit, kasi 4x yan, minus, tandaan na, kapag mag, ano kayo, pag, ito na lang, uh, kapag mayroon kayong subtraction sign, and then, you will substitute a value of a negative number. Lagyan nyo ng parenthesis para ma-multiply natin yung sign. So, you have negative 7. Simplify natin. This is 3 times negative 5, negative 15, plus 4, over, this is negative 20, 4 times negative 5, negative 20, plus 7. Sir, bakit plus 7? Negative times negative is positive. And simplifying this, medyo... Dipit na tayo sana sa space. You have negative 11 over negative 13. And simplifying these numbers, you have negative 11 over negative 13. Since pares sila ng negative, automatically, your answer is positive, which is 11 over 13. This is the correct answer for item number 5. Now, um, sana ma-apply niyo yung yung konsepto ng ginawa natin ngayon sa learning class number 1 nyo, sa mga batang hindi pa rin nakakatapos ng week number 4. And if you have any request na gusto nyo itakal natin sa ating YouTube channel, pwede kayo mag mag-comment sa ating comment section. And again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating mga latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!